hello my lovelies exciting day today i am meeting tom from rifa brushes for a coffee he is traveling in europe currently and he's in the uk now so can't wait to go and talk brushes and this is what i'm wearing it's a very hot day really it's a day for a swimming costume <laughs> but obviously i can't wear that this badot top is very old i think it was from phase eight i am wearing just my jeans and my new orange shoes tory beige bag and i've tied this twilly onto it because it's got orange in it so it will go with my shoes i buy these twillies on etsy um i just like to tie them around handbags just to bring colors together so nice and cash and summery i'll see you later i'm back from my meeting with tom i got changed i've got no brown <laughs> it was so lovely to meet him he was so great this is the owner of the rifa brushes um i've learned so much more about the company um, I just really, really like the model and the philosophy. They are just so great. You know, they are Japanese brushes and Japan is like the kingdom of brushes. They've been making makeup brushes like for, for years and years and no one does it better than Japanese. And I don't know how Rifa brushes they manage to keep the cost that that low i'm not a businesswoman i know nothing about business but it must be something to do with with the um, business model i don't know but it's good for us because you know everything is getting very expensive and we need to make savings where we, where, where we can you know this is like they are driven by you the consumer so they love hearing your feedback and they improve their brushes or create new brushes based on your feedback so you know i've told you they have um, if you sign up they have a um, concept store uh, where they will sell some brushes like 50 percent off all they want from you is to give them honest feedback within 30 days um, so yeah you already know that i love them anyway so um and i think that there are some exciting things that will be coming to rifa soon as well um other products and stuff so yeah it was really lovely it's so nice you know when you talk to someone through email to be able to put base to the name oh, my leggings just came i've ordered another pair of leggings from i i uh, order all my workout stuff now from sweaty betty absolutely love it uh, my favorite leggings are the power leggings and they always come up with new patterns so i bought these blue ones they nice and i bought light blue sports bra with it a bit obsessed with leggings but you know i probably go to gym more every week than i go anywhere else and you need to look cute you know not really it's not like a posh gym you've seen that gym <laughs> but i still like it. it makes me feel better when i have cute stuff on makes my workout easier like them gonna go and try them on i'm wearing this i don't know what it is is it i can't get up because i've got no brown <laughs> i don't know if this is a dress a kaftan h&m i bought it last year or two years ago i think they do them every year in different patterns and different colors if i find it i will link it down below um but go size or two smaller this is small and it's quite big i wear it around the house but this this is not 
but if you just want to walk the dog in it it's fine or you can wear it over your swimming costume on holiday uh, but it's just such a lovely cool thin cotton so i will leave you the link to it if i find it but i'm sure i'm sure they did three different colors this year as well right i better go i'm gonna go and cook dinner now and i will see you another day good morning my lovelies so i thought i'd show you my outfit of the day my new leggings um i'm going to the gym today and i'm wearing my new leggings they are so cute such a lovely color and there is my um blue sports bra underneath all of it is actually from sweaty betty including the tank top there they are isn't it beautiful color I, I think the pattern is like lace i don't know but yeah most leggings always come black with something and i like to have something um colorful in the summer yeah really like it it's so hot i think um i won't go later on in a week to the gym because today i think it's going to be about 28 degrees but on thursday it's going to be like 36 so and that gym doesn't have air conditioning they just have big doors both ways so whatever breeze you get you're lucky it's like a you know real hardcore gym the people that go there um do the crossfit and they actually love it when it's hot they're crazy it's like doing hot yoga so i probably won't go on thursday because i will just pass out good morning my lovelies i am just in a car park waiting to go into the dentist well i'm not seeing a dentist i'm seeing a hygienist i go probably every four or five months hate it it's horrible sitting there for half an hour with your mouth open but it has to be done do you know i was thinking i haven't last monday and this monday moaned about anything yet this is not very normal <laughs> um we'll see maybe something will annoy me at the dentist i have a very busy week so um i'm not going to the gym tomorrow because it's too hot so i think tomorrow i'm going to go to supermarket because we have friends coming over at the weekend, staying over. Uh, so we're gonna have a barbecue, so I have to buy some stuff for barbecue. And then I have to clean the house and all that stuff. So that will be fun. I hope we'll be able to sit outside because it's gonna be really hot. I haven't bought anything this week. Oh, I only ordered um, the U-tan fake tan because I'm running out of mine I hate fake tanning oh my god this is so much hassle um, I probably fake tan twice a week sometimes I manage once a week um, so yeah like every I would maybe every four days and you know just before you fake tan then you have to really really properly scrub yourself to get off the tan that is coming off and then redo it at night and then shower it off the next morning i hate it but i think i hate more being really pale so i have to do it yeah i like the u-tan turbo cherry and almond i think it is it's my favorite i've got a video somewhere old video how i fake tan i don't know if that's the tan i was using at the time but um you know i've tried quite a few fake tans and i seem to always go back to to that one so yeah that's my favorite i also use the tanning water for my face oh and i'm having my hair done tomorrow as well which i don't enjoy either <laughs> i hate sitting there for hours having the foils put in my hair i have lost more weight so um 
I was talking to you a few weeks back about the I don't know how much I've lost because I don't ever weigh myself but what I did when I at that time around that time that I was talking to you I weighed myself then and I thought well I sort of got guess what I've already lost um, and I've been weighing myself not you know like every couple of weeks and I reckon I've lost now 10 pounds so I'm um, I am I think 143 pounds now and I don't really want to lose much more if I was 140 pounds which is 10 stone I would be quite happy with that um, I worry because you know at my age if you start losing a lot of weight then you start sagging more and I worry about my face sagging and all that and and you know I started this journey really not so much for losing weight but you know to sort out like my digestion problems and, and my bloating and all that which um, which sorted itself out but um, I started losing weight as it well I was counting calories so I suppose well I, would, I just didn't think that this would work because I've never done a, any any sort of diet for longer than a week so uh, yeah but um, it's nice I like it I've lost weight it's the other day I put on do you remember these wide leg um, like cobbled blue trousers that I've shown in my first Zara haul and um, they were quite big in a waist but you could see like at the front they were a bit pulling where my hips are like at the front and I put them on the other day and I thought oh they feel much looser now there is no pulling at the front but um, yeah it's nice it's nice it's always nice to lose a bit of weight but like I said I don't really want to lose much more I'm quite happy you know um, with what I look like now oh I better go because I've got just five minutes so I better go I will speak to you later right I'm done it's so nice to have clean teeth um, I've got nothing to complain about it was very efficient and very good today because I remember last time I wasn't happy with something but today I had some extra airflow polish which they like blast your teeth with almost like sand and water um, the only thing is hygiene is got so expensive um, but you know it's something that you you have to do yes they were very efficient I came out with the um, room is for my hygienist outside there is like a second tiny reception and the girls there know me because I've been going to this dentist for years and years and um, she already had my invoice ready and everything so um, booked my next appointment very good today very happy you know these days sometimes it's very difficult to get a good service anywhere all right so i'm gonna go home now i have to take paul to the train station he's going to london again today so i will give him a lift to the train station and get on with my day good morning my lovelies i'm having coffee paul is having a sandwich and cup of tea so let me tell you about Paul's new gadget, but this one was a fail, <laughs> he's only admitted it to me. What is it? It's like a caddy, isn't it? So, kind of yeah, but I, I haven't even seen it, I think, you have you thrown it away? Yeah. <laughs> How come you admitted to it? Because it was funny. <laughs> So he apparently ordered from Amazon one of those caddies to keep your sponge and and a cloth. You stick it inside the sink. It's expandable, so it, it draws across, you know, for different size sinks, and it sits at the back. Oh, was it like sitting actually on a sink? Yeah. Oh, I would have hated that. So. I said to him, like, do you think I haven't seen things like this? I don't want anything else in my sink. But 
he was waiting for it for ages did it come from china <laughs> and he said that as soon as he unpacked it and put it in the sink he all snapped the plastic was so brittle <laughs> As soon as you expanded it and pushed on it, it all snapped into pieces. <laughs> so, so yeah, so he didn't tell me straight away because he knew I would have a go at him for buying rubbish. But he did tell me eventually. So did you get a ref refund? Yeah, they said I could throw it away and <laughs> they gave me a refund. Even Amazon said you can just throw it away, don't bother sending it back and just gave him a refund. <laughs> What am I going to do with this man? Mind you, a lot of you telling me that your husbands are exactly the same. Let's try my new lights up. Oh yes, Paul did his new lights again because half of them stopped working again for some reason. I think so, a mouse has chewed through the cable. <laughs> he thinks a mouse chewed through the cable this time. So he did his lights again. I swear you spent hundreds of pounds on these lights. <laughs> Right, how often do we sit here for you to operate remotely different Listen, coloured I lights? I it and I'm going to use it. Paul, it's ridiculous, honestly. We hardly ever sit here. You're going to have think a. That was? I don't care. Right. You're going to have a box so there. Why, it, you won't, why, why do you care then? You won't be able to open the door because of the box. Sorry, it's, it's that size. Mm. And I've got to stand out in 900 degrees cooking on a barbecue. On well, we can sit inside and... Barbecue inside? No. So I've still got to stand outside no, in do 900 it, no, degrees. No, do it all in the oven. There'll be indoor barbecue. See, women say barbecuing is easy because they don't have to do it. While you're drink, sipping your Prosecco in the air-conditioned house, watching me drip with sweat. <laughs> easy you just flip things now and again that's it it's 36 degrees well it, it won't be that hot in the evening I think you need to check your phone app <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so we have all this beautiful summer I can't even enjoy it because it's too hot now you can cook on the barbecue this man is going to be the end of me so did you hear so he's bought something else we have at the edge of the decking little light and they broke years ago we never replaced them so he's bought some new lights and you heard he's bought some he's bought some little box that he can remotely change the colors of them honestly I'm gonna divorce him so I've been to the supermarket this morning to buy some stuff for the barbecue but it was pointless really because I couldn't buy burger buns and I couldn't buy a baguette because by Saturday it will be it won't be as fresh it won't be it will be stale the baguette won't be crunchy and crusty so I still have to go on Saturday morning maybe I sent Paul I think what I'm gonna do here is epilate my legs I've been using that brown silk pill for years just for my legs I don't wax my legs because I use hot wax you know the one without strips and to do legs I would have to use so much of it and it just takes ages so I usually epilate my legs and wax everything else and I'm going to do it here because whenever I do it in the house I always miss some hairs and when I come out here and sit here, I, I can see some that I've missed. So, um, yeah, I can see better here. It's painful. It's very painful. I'm sort of used to it. And after about two minutes, your leg goes numb from pain. <laughs> so, so it doesn't matter. Today, I am wearing this little top. It's an old top from Gap I think and my Zara pink shorts yes I went out in shorts but to be honest almost everybody in the supermarket was wearing shorts because it's that hot I also have to scrub myself today honestly that my fake tan is coming off and it just looks 
<clears throat> so patchy, you know, like a crocodile skin. Hate that. So I have to exfoliate all that properly and refake tan myself. Right, I'm gonna go and epilate my legs. Good morning, my lovelies. I'm just putting my makeup on. Put your date in. I have a tip off. So, um, Rifa are going to do bog off, buy one, get one free. The date is still, I think, not decided, but it will be either 18th or 19th of August. So check as soon as you can on both dates and be quick about it because they always have just limited number to sell and it goes really quick. So um, save that date, put it in your diary and shop. If you already know Rifa brushes, if you wanted another brush or, or some brushes that you don't have, that's the good time to buy it if you've never tried it good time to buy just two brushes for the price of one and i thought today i tell you if you had to choose just two brushes to start off with these are the two that i would buy zero one and fifteen and i want to show you even though i have hundred brushes um and I love using about 10 when I'm doing my makeup. I can do my makeup with just two. So the number one is like your multitasker. You can do loads. Um, 15, I love using for blending. So I'm going to use today the Charlotte Tilbury Star Stars in Your Eyes. This is an old one. You can't get this palette anymore, but if you have it, I am going to use from the Love Eyes. Look, I love this one. And in all her quotes and other big palettes, she put similar shadow in, but none of them is like this one. So I'm going to use this one and this one. And I probably will use these two here from Happy Eyes. So you are going to start with the lightest eyeshadow. Normally I start in a crease, but I won't because I'm using this brush for almost everything. So I'm going to go into this shimmering eyeshadow first and I'm going to apply it on my mobile lid. Just halfway. I usually do this last. If you have, you know that brush cleaner, that dry, it's called switch or something. It looks like a wiry black thing. You can clean off this brush in between. Right, now I have here a towel. I'm going to lightly wipe this light color off, just the excess of it. And now I'm going to go into this color and start putting it in a crease. So you're going like from the lightest to darkest with the same brush. Now, can you see the size of this brush? You go this way to apply it and then turn it over to blend it a bit. So I'm going to start applying that in a crease and a bit on my outer corner. Turn the brush and start blending out. Now for under my eye you need something smaller. Pinch this brush like this with your fingers. Go into the same eyeshadow and apply it underneath or just do it with the tip of that brush. Okay, 
now i'm going to go to this brown the darker brown with the same brush i don't need to wipe it off oh let me do the other eye because um if i go in that dark eyeshadow i will mess it up i'm using my magnifying mirror this is the ricky one and these are so expensive but look i've been keeping it on my windowsill and from the heat it's just like came apart but it is magnifying so i'm, I'm using it here I don't like this mirror that much but it helps with the magnification sometimes and it's nice and small okay so now with the same brush i'm going to go into this brown and start shading the outer v and pulling it in a bit to the crease I don't like doing my makeup in magnifying mirror really but because I've got a camera here I have to have the mirror quite close I think like it gives you distorted look <laughs> let me see if I can go back to my normal mirror yeah that's better don't like it You see, you can like really see it. There. Okay, so I'm just deepening the outer V. I'm going to go to the 15 now and start blending the edges. You can use that one for your crease work as well. You can apply eyeshadow in a crease and then keep blending. Now I'm going to go to the even darker brown. Again with the same brush. And deepen the very edge. Of course using smaller and different brushes would be easier but i wanted to show you that it is possible to really do your makeup just with one brush even one brush i might go and get more of number one i've got loads of them <laughs> because i use number one in every makeup so you know they are always dirty so it's good to have have a few 15 blend 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 now again i'm going to pinch this brush with my fingers go to this dark brown and apply it just on the outer V here this is not as easy or instead of 15 15 because you can still blend with this one you might want to get you might want to get the 26 which is the pencil brush for doing underneath up to you 1 and 15 or 1 and 26 but I can cope with that And I'm going to deepen this even more. Yes, of course I think you should have every single brush from them. But like I said, we all need to save money now. So if you only can buy two for the price of one, that's what I would recommend okay and that's me done with these two brushes just put the mascara on I've 
been using lately do you remember i bought the mac stack mascara and i really like it i just i think this review said it is a very good mascara but you can get much cheaper mascaras that perform just as good but i thought well i've got it i might as well use it but it is very nice mascara you often ask me about this mirror as well this is such an old mirror it's just a bathroom mirror that i bought years and years ago just in a department store i like it because it's quite tall i've got a huge like hollywood mirror here but um it's too far away so i still like having the small one the big one is really for doing my hair i could have that hollywood mirror obviously really close to me but i want to have more room on my vanity so Oh, sorry, that TV is... <laughs> I always watch TV when I do my makeup because, you know, silence. We can't do silence. Okay, so there you go. That was my makeup achieved with just two brushes. Let's put some lippy on. What's that? Long calm ideal. You know, I have all these beautiful bright lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. Do you remember Electric Poppy? And I never wear them. And I think I bought them so many years ago. They are probably no good anymore. I don't know what's the point having so many lipsticks, you know. Do you use different lipstick every day? I use the same thing. Dance Floor Princess from Charlotte. I'm not really a lipstick person. There are people that prefer lipstick to eyeshadow. And they probably wear different bright lipstick every day. There. Oh, had my hair done last night. So I blow dried it last night. It still looks okay. have to put my side extensions in yes so remember the date 18th or 19th sorry i don't have the definite um answer i probably will at the end of the week but i want to finish this vlog here because i have plenty to do i'm just going to go and clean my bathrooms now i know what i might do if i find out before this video goes out definite date i will put it um on my community tab on youtube so if i've got the definite day by monday but yeah just look around those dates and the link is down below right thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and in my next video on wednesday i will still have roots on because i have recorded it before i had my hair done so there's no trickery i just didn't have my hair done yet when i recorded that video right i will see you soon stay fabulous bye